Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. So let's prove the first one. So my fx is equal to x to the power n minus 1. Let me write here once again. fx is equal to x to the power n. Correct. I know the formula f dash x, this derivative of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x, the whole thing divided by h and this guy limit h tends to 0. So this guy is nothing but what is f of x plus h? x plus h to the power n. What is f of x? x to the power n. Let me write n like this. The whole thing divide by h limit h tends to 0. So if you see this formula x plus h to the power n this we can expand. Why we are doing this? Because we want to subtract this guy x to the power n. So you can just expand this formula. So if you expand this a plus b to the power n formula this is nothing but i think in this formula n c naught a to the power n b to the power 0 plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 b 2 dot 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 n c n a to the power 0 b to the power n this is the formula we have using binomial we can expand this so let's expand this guy also so this becomes nc0 is 1 I write nc0 x to the power n instead of a we have x I write n here and b to the power 0 that is h to the power 0 is again 1 only plus nc1 x to the power n minus 1 right into b is h plus n c 2 x to the power n minus 2 b square dot 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 n c n x to the power 0 x to the power n this whole thing right minus x to the power n by h so if you see n c naught is 1 so 1 into x to the power n and x to the power n we can cancel this guy now if you see we have a h common here every guy has h common. Why I am taking out h common? Because I can divide this guy h. Because else it is creating difficulty for me because h is in the denominator and I have limit h tends to 0. So let me do this. So this becomes, if you take h common, this becomes nc1 is 1 only. Sorry, nc1 is n. nc1 is n I think. Why? nc1 is nothing but n permutation n minus 1. Sorry, n factorial, n minus 1 factorial, that is n. So nc1 is n into x to the power n minus 1 plus h i2 common nc2 x to the power n minus 2 this becomes h here dot 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 nc n h to the power n minus 1 by h h h cancel limit h tends to 0. Now I can put the value of h as 0. The moment I put the value of h as 0, this becomes n x to the power n minus 1 plus this becomes 0 because it is 0. Everything else becomes 0 because everything else has h part. So this is nothing but n x to the power n minus 1. And that is what I wanted to prove. Correct. So if I fx is equal to x to the power n, f dash x is nothing but n x to the power n minus 1. So I'll write this in capital so that you don't confuse with x. So that's how it is. So what we have done here, we just use this formula f dash of x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x by h, h tends to 0. Why we could not apply value of h here? Because the moment you put h is equal to 0 here, it becomes infinite and that is not allowed. So the, the logic and the, the way how we solve this limit problem is we try to change or reorder this whole polynomial in a, in a fashion that the moment you apply, apply the value of h as 0 or whatever the value is given h tends to this, it should not become 0 by 0 form or 
x by infinite form that kind of form should not, not be there and we just keep on you know, simplifying it and we get the form where the moment you apply h is equal to 0 or, or whatever value it is it doesn't give 0 by 0 form if you if you are having difficulty in solving this kind of equations please watch my videos on limits uh, class 11 videos where we have explained how to solve such kind of questions how to approach this kind of questions and come to conclusion so i think for derivative the chapter is must for you if you have not watched please go ahead and watch the chapter let's take the other function fx is equal to sin x and let's try to find the derivative of this guy also so if my fx is equal to sin x let me write here my f dash x is nothing but same formula I apply f of x plus h minus f of x the whole thing divide by h and h tends to zero correct so this is nothing but f of x plus h is nothing but sine of x plus h why because f of x is sine so and f of x is nothing but sine x and the whole thing divides by h and limit h tends to 0. I can't put the value of h as 0 now because it becomes 0 by 0 form so let's solve this further. So this becomes sine of x plus h I can break the I have this formula sine a plus b is equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Again, if you don't know this formula, please watch my trigonometry chapters where we have explained this formula, we have given the memory tips how to remember this formula and then you can use this formula. So, let's use this formula. In this case, so it becomes limit h tends to 0. Sine of x plus h I can break, this become sine x cos h minus cos x sine h minus this guy sin x x by h cos h is cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so in that case this guy and this guy are same correct see these two guys the same I can just cancel this because cos 0 is 1 this guy is same now what I am left with is the limit h tends to 0 cos x into sin h by h why I am writing in this fashion because I know that sin h by h limit h tends to 0 is 1. So if, here also if you don't know this please watch my uh, video class 11 video where I have discussed how it is 1 limit video. This is 1 we know this. So what will happen this becomes 1 so the whole thing becomes cos x. So what I have done there my fx was sin x and I got f dash x as nothing but cos x very simple I just use this formula f of x plus h minus f of x by h limit h tends to 0 is nothing but f dash x and I got f dash x as cos x just to remind you once again f dash x is nothing but y dash or dy by dx so I can say any of this is correct y dash is equal to cos x or dy by dx is equal to cos x if y is equal to sin x. Let's take the other one fx is equal to cos x similar to what we have done for sin x but this, this is a proof so I wanted to do this for you. So fx is equal to cos x same formula I'll apply f dash x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x the whole thing divide by h and here my limit h tends to 0. So what is the value of f of x plus h? That is cos of x plus h. So this becomes cos of x plus h minus f of x is nothing but cos x by h limit h tends to 0. I can't apply the value of h now because it becomes 0 by 0 form. So what I'll do here is I'll just break this guy. So cos a plus b I know is nothing but cos a cos b minus sin a sin b this is a trigonometric function which we are formula we have used again if you don't know this go and watch class 11 video where we have discussed this formulas and this becomes cos x cos h 
minus sin x sin h minus cos x by h limit h tends to 0 again cos 0 is 1 1 into cos x is cos x cos x cos x cancel so this becomes sin x into sin h by h take minus of this correct and here same thing limit h tends to 0 so again sin h by h h tends to 0 is nothing but 1 so 1 into minus has become minus 1 so this becomes minus of sin x and that's my answer so f dash x is nothing but minus of sin x similar thing which we have done for the sin x same thing i'm doing for cos x now let's do for the tan x formula exactly similar pattern will do if my fx is equal to tan x my f dash x is nothing but f of x plus h minus f of x the whole thing divides by h where limit h tends to 0 correct now that does nothing but f of x plus h is nothing but tan of x plus h minus f of x is nothing but tan of x the whole thing divides by h obviously limit h tends to 0 what is tan a plus b tan a plus b is nothing but i like the formula tan a plus b is nothing but tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b again if you don't know this formula please watch the trigonometry videos where we have discussed this so this becomes you break this guy this becomes tan x plus tan h by 1 minus tan x tan h minus this guy tan x the whole thing divides by h limit h tends to 0 correct so let's solve this so if you solve this this equation becomes you take this guy common 1 minus tan x tan h into h this guy is common so this becomes tan x plus tan h minus tan x into 1 becomes tan x minus this tan x square into h why because tan x into tan x because tan x square into h tan x square h so tan x tan x is cancelled if you take uh, tan h. if you take tan h common in this if you see both has tan h common so i'll take tan h common why because tan h by h is one i know so and here also limit h tends to be. so i'll take tan h common so this guy becomes tan h common this guy becomes one here it is minus minus become plus here actually so this becomes 1 plus 10 square x this becomes h here and this becomes 1 minus 10 x into 10 h correct now now if we apply the value of h as 0 10 h by h becomes 1 this becomes 1 into 1 plus 10 square x becomes 6 square x right and 1 minus 10 x is 10 x into 10 0 is 0 this becomes 1 minus 0 that is 1 itself so this is nothing but 6 square x and that is my answer so my f dash x is nothing but 6 square x so what we have done we got this formula but since in this case we could not apply value of h because it was giving 0 by 0 form we simplified it we took tan h by h common and we know that tan h by h limit h tends to 0 is 1 if you don't know this please watch my limit chapter class 11 and then we got this value as x square thank you